Welcome red people and so now my name is Silent today I'm going to show you guys how to use the mirror tool. So we're going to go to front view, we're going to uh, cut this with the multi tool, you can also use the edge loop to cut in half. Uh, so now we have our half, we're just going to uh, select these faces, we're going to delete them. So now we have our uh, half box. So at this point you would model uh, one side and then duplicate it to the other side using the uh, mirror tool. So uh, when you want to mirror something make sure you have it selected and you can either go to the top bar uh, where it says mirror or you can shift right click and hit mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little square as the options. So now we have all of our different options. Um, you can select the mirror axis position, position which is where the uh, mirror tool will uh, focus off of and so uh, we're going to select object. You can also do the bounding box and also world. I typically use object or bounding box uh, for what I typically use. And then you can also change the, the axis so you can have it go up, down, uh, or on Z. So you can also change the direction from positive and negative depending upon where you are modeling your certain object. And then another important thing is if you want the vertices uh, to merge together so that pretty much means when you duplicate these if you want these to be the same exact for both sides or you want them to be um, two separate entities. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our object we're going to hit apply and so as you can see it has duplicated our object and it's also pre-combined the object as well which helps out a ton. So once you have your object now you can um, fiddle with it and such but I'm going to go back into uh, this section before and we're going to change it to bounding box so you can see. As you can see, it uh, makes the same effect. Certain times um, it won't, um, depending upon what object you're using, sometimes uh, the bounding box will work and sometimes the object will. And so uh, as an example, also, if you wanted to mirror the, uh, the axis on the Y, oops, uh, there we go. Uh, you can see it does it on the y-axis. And then also you can change the direction as well if you wanted to um, do that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.